Hi everybody and welcome to our YouTube channel. We are as always your host Anna and Carlos and today we have a little tutorial for you, a very quick one where we're going yeah. to show you another kind of ribbing that you can do for your mittens or your, or or your socks. Jackets or, or, jackets or sweaters. whatever. Because normally you do a rib is like two knit and two pearl or one knit and one pearl. Or but two knit and one pearl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or three or two no, or whatever, whatever. yeah but <laughs> but but this one is all like an old way to do a rib and you can find it on a lot of the old knitted pieces we Very have normal, some yes. we have some jackets and sweaters with this rib which was made like way way back and this rib is more elastic yeah, I know. I think we should do this rib often, Arne, because it is really very attractive. It's a beautiful rib, yeah. and and the nice thing about this rib is that when you pull it out and then it goes back in, it really goes back in. So it's, uh, it's it keeps its shape. Yeah, it keeps its shape more and better and mm. kind of longer. And the reason why is because this is a pearl and a twisted knit. Oh, a twisted knit. Oh. Vrid vrang. Vrid vrang. <laughs> In Norwegian. Well, that's a twisted <laughs> pearl. No. No, vrid rätt, sorry. Yes. Vrid, vrid rätt. You see, I ah. caught you there. If you say vrid vrang, it means ah, yeah, a twisted yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Vrid rätt. Yes, so you do a pearl and a twisted knit. Yeah. And so, how do you do the twisted so knit? So now I will show you. It's very, it's very easy. Okay, let's see. Yeah, but. Like normally, when you do a knit, you go like this in front and you knit. But when you do a twisted knit, you go in the back. So you, you go in this side. Oh. This, this way you twist the, the knitted stitch. So you see they're all twisted, so they're kind of more they're like skinnier. Oh, okay. And then you purl. So I think we have a moose in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> every week. <laughs> every week. Every week there's a moose in the garden because every week she's barking at something that we can't see. Uh, no, I explained. Yes, Again? sorry. One more time. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> you talk about moose all the time. Well, that's because I keep hearing Freya. <laughs> you, maybe you're afraid of moose. No, no, no. Not at all. <gasps> Look, a moose. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Kidding. Well, okay. So you go in back there and you knit from the back. And the pearl is normal. And back. So this way you get the rib with the twisted knit. And pearl. This is a, the Norwegian pearl. There's a, I've, I've seen some videos with Norwegian pearl. Someone told us about it and it does, it's not a Norwegian pearl. It's called Norwegian pearl. Well, pearl, they called it Norwegian pearl. But it's not. Because you will never do a, a nor pearl, Norwegian pearl by twisting yarn like one way or the other and uh, even more like, and, and up and like this. And then you... Now don't show it because it's not the way we do it. Like, I, yeah. I, this is not Norwegian way, or it's also Scandinavian So way. Arne's bottom line, you want to learn the Norwegian pearl, learn it from a Norwegian. <laughs> not necessarily Arne, you could learn it from another Norwegian. Or anyone, but never twist the yarn and finger up in the air and all around and yeah. it's like... No, 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 no. Difficult. No. Put your finger down. Now you're offending everybody that puts their finger up in there. Nothing wrong with that. We're just talking about but the Norwegian. But don't call it the Norwegian yeah. way because it's not. <laughs> because the yarn over, you grab it with the long finger and that's the tension. That's the Norwegian way. And then when you knit under into the stitch, pick it up and back and put it off. And then the twisted knit. So, purl and into the back and twist the knit sti knitted stitch, the knit stitch. This is smooth. Mm. This is like dancing. Yeah, well, you've always said that. <laughs> yeah, I always said it and now other people use the same term. I see that on YouTube and it's like, no, it's not dancing when you put your fingers up and around. It's no rhythm. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> That's dancing without rhythm. Yeah. yeah, you should come and learn. Learn 
to dance. Yeah. Okay, so no, but now I, I, I think th th you should try this rib because it's, it's really good and your mittens or your uh, or the rib or on anything, or your jacket, it, it holds itself in better itself place. In, the, in a better place. So, so this is the rib with a twisted knit. Yeah, so remember that one twisted knit, one pearl, one twisted knit, one pearl. It creates a very, very beautiful rib. Um, and this will be a mitten in the future. This will be a mitten, yeah. Yeah, I really love this. It is, it is beautiful. And actually it's nice because the, the stitches are also very, very neat. You know what I mean? They're mm -hmm. also, they kind of stick out a little bit yeah. because of the way it's done. And it pops back, even yeah. if you wash it and it's like... So super, so. super nice way to do an old fashioned uh, ribbing for anything uh, which needs a ribbing. Yeah. yeah, and now you can do the formal, formal things. Oh, you want me to do the formal things? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. So this was a short tutorial, one of those very quick ones. It's part of the Arne and Carlos School of Norwegian Knitting, uh, where you can learn all about <laughs> yeah. the diff different techniques and traditions from our culture here in Norway and actually also in Scandinavia. And actually, we should also in include our neighbors, Finland, so also in the Nordic countries. Yeah. We have the same traditions up in the Nordic countries, and it is always a pleasure. Oh, yeah, maybe we should also include Latvia and Lithuania. Um, and I met a person from Lithuania, and she was knitting the same And way. Estonia also, not Estonia. to forget yeah. that. Then, so, then it's the same way. Yeah, so all our neighbors around in the Nordic <laughs> countries and the Balticum, uh, here is a little a bit of our culture for you. We hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, we have a family of subscribers that is growing all the time. If you're not a subscriber, we would highly recommend you to join the Arne and Carlos family. I promise you, it's a lot of fun. Uh, and if the best way to stay in touch with us is if you go uh, on our website at arneandcarlos.com and sign up for our updates. Then you will always be the first to know. And speaking about being the first to know, we always post our episodes on Sundays at uh, 6 p.m. Central European time, which is 11 a.m. Central, uh, Central time, Central Standard time, sorry, in North America. However, sometimes we could post on a Wednesday and the best way to be in the loop is by uh, putting on your notifications. Then you will always be notified whenever we post an episode. Um, oh, and finally, if you like <laughs> our episode, please give it a big thumbs up. Uh, if you didn't like the episode, you have the option of leaving a thumbs down, but I think you should be nice to us and give us a thumbs I up. I think we've anyway. had a lot of thumbs down now because all the, all the people who think they learned to knit the Norwegian way with the finger, and now they're angry because we told them it's not the right way. Oh, I don't think people should be angry. It's only knitting and... <laughs> be angry. No, don't be angry. Bring it's it on. only knitting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Arne and I will continue to have this discussion off camera and we look forward to seeing you again next week with a brand new episode. Thank you so much for watching and see you again very, very soon. Bye. bye. Say bye, Arne. Bye. <laughs>